I probably learned of ALS when I was in high school, you know, when you learn about Lou Gehrig. Uh, one of my first or second year with the Kansas City Royals, I met a man by the name of Keith Worthington, who was the most normal guy in the world. You know, he was an executive down at Wolf Brothers, a men's clothing store in the plaza, and an active tennis player, active golf player. And, and I would see Keith, you know, two or three times a year. And, and uh, you know, one time I saw him, he had a cane and then crutches and then wheelchair and respirator and finally took his life. But that's my first real contact with the disease. And, and uh, it was pretty devastating to see the stages that someone's body actually goes through uh, from start to finish. I mean, I was devastated by it. In 1983, George Brett made a promise to his friend Keith Worthington, a victim of ALS. George's promise was to continue Keith's fight to find a cure for ALS, which is commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. As honorary chairman for the ALS Association Keith Worthington chapter, George played an important role in helping raise $1.5 million for projects and research. He hosts the annual George Brett Celebrity Golf Tournament and Auction and Lou Gehrig Night at Kauffman Stadium to benefit ALS. His contributions to ALS research were vital in a major breakthrough, identifying a defective gene that causes ALS. Although George Brett earned batting titles and gold gloves, he will also be remembered for his efforts to create a future in which Lou Gehrig will be best remembered not for his disease, but for his prowess on the field of dreams. Of all the accomplishments on the baseball field, of all the accomplishments off the baseball field, uh, uh, sooner or later when we do find a cure for ALS, this is going to be the biggest accomplishment of my life. As a lifelong Royals fan, I knew about a promise George made many years ago. I recall reading the words inscribed on his statue at Kauffman Stadium. A promise and a commitment to ALS until there is a cure. Until 2018, when I was diagnosed with ALS, I didn't truly comprehend George's commitment to the disease. I met George only a few months after I was diagnosed, and he promised me then that he would be by my side as I battled the disease. Nearly six years later, George has absolutely lived up to his promise. George has helped me connect with legislators to advocate for change for ALS. Helped me access a medication while I waited for its approval. It helped ensure Lou Gehrig Day was recognized across the MLB. There is no ask too big. If he can make it happen, he absolutely will. Most importantly, George has been an incredible friend who motivates me to keep on fighting. There is no one more deserving to be recognized for their unwavering dedication and support to ALS. George, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you have done and continue to do for all of us impacted by ALS. Hey George, good morning. Congratulations on 40 years supporting ALS, the job that you've done over the years, the amount of money you've raised to make an impact on research. It's been incredible. So congratulations to you, keep it going. Hey George, it's Izzy. I want to say congratulations on 40 years of working with this ALS chapter. Thank you so much for all the things you do. I know it takes a lot of dedication and it's something you've been very passionate about, but for 40 years, I thought, so you were really doing this when you went, what, you were five or 10? But anyway, hey, happy 40th anniversary. Love playing in this tournament. Great job and uh, keep up the good work, buddy. Love you. George Brett, this is Chase Kaufman. Congratulations on 40 years in uh, supporting, supporting the fight against ALS. The few years that I've been able to be involved with this golf tournament and learning more and educating myself more has been, uh, I mean, first class all the way. And to know that you've been a part of it, is, I mean, really puts the icing on the cake. So again, congratulations on 40 years. All right, we're doing a huge shout out to the great George Brett, and obviously as a baseball fan, I've been watching him for decades, but it's it's amazing to find out that he's also been associated with this great, great charity for just about that long. So George Brett, congratulations, brother. Great to be a part of it, glad to be invited. Wish you the best as well as this charity. Hi, George. Many congratulations on receiving the ALS Association's Lifetime Achievement Award. You've made such an incredible and important impact in the ALS community. I've enjoyed all our years of participating together in the Joe McGuff ALS Golf Classic. My friend Bruce Edwards 
and your friend Keith Worthington are reminders to us all of the terrible disease ALS is and what we need to do to continue the fight for the cure.